okay, this it's good. Gillo, this this email is interesting. Okay, this is from Gene Gotti, and the subject is Boogie Nights. What's up? <laughs> Huh. Long time listen to this long time listener and Patreon supporter. I'm also Daniel Cormier's cousin. That's oh. a shoot. Huh. What's Gene, the guy's name? Gene G E A N Gotti. That sounds like a, a, that sounds like John Gotti. Too much like John Gotti it to me. Be, I don't, that's DC's cousin. Yeah. I'm gonna call a flag on this. Or that could be like a, like a pseudonym. Was well, a cute to kazoo, so he yeah. kazooed himself. Yeah. Anyway, was watching Nitro on the network and stumbled across a great duck on a ladder match between Conan Ray Di and Alex yeah, Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great match, tremendous work all around. Plus, it was very entertaining, especially with Mark Madden's commentary. I'd forgotten all about the Boogie Nights tag team and are curious about who came up with the concept, being that Alex Wright didn't fit in. Into with your guy, with you guys. Um, me and Alex were just a tag team, and just, the, the Boogie Nights was just a, a, a no brainer. The funniest thing was, I guess, that there was a tag team on the Indies that were calling themselves the Boogie Nights, and I didn't, I didn't know. Right. And like they, the, Bo- the, the Boogie Nights tag team started like you know complaining that we, I stole the, I stole their gimmick, uh. and I was like, I can't steal the gimmick if I don't, if I didn't know you guys existed till after I. I Made the game. You know, imagine, the imagine if there would have been if there would have been Twitter back then. They would have put it on Twitter. Oh, for sure. Know? Well, Let, I probably would have known who they were if right. there was Twitter back then, but there wasn't. So it's was like I just yeah, I, I didn't know there was a team tactic called the Boogie Nights. So so they they were upset. You know, um, Alex. Clarify, first of all, Alex did not fit in with the filthy animals because Alex had a wife said. that he was faithful to. Right. Okay, so he was not like the partier that like we you know we would have tried to like bang a bunch of chicks all the time. So and here's uh, the interesting thing. Uh, what was the deal when he turned? I remember he came back and they gave him a new character called Berlin. Berlin. What the hell is that about? I not, I forgot I was about just that. Gonna, I was just gonna ask that because I was gonna ask you guys if because I remember he came and he had a trench coat and he kind of looked gothic, but then Columbine happened and they yanked it. And he was off TV again until they felt comfortable bringing him back. But they ditched the trench coat and a lot of the vibes. He just became like evil German guy. But it wasn't really gothic anymore. And he, I wonder if that would have had a little more success if that shooting didn't happen. And he really could have went all the way with the darker aspects of it, you know. But yeah, he Do you went, remember that, Glenn? What was it again? When he was Berlin. How did you not listen to what we both just <laughs> said? Did, what I happened? Read, I was reading the next email. That's why. And then you, and then you get hot when I do it. Okay, so when he, they turned him into Berlin. All right. Mm-hmm. What was the what? Do you remember why they did that? And then Joe brought something up that I don't remember. He said that after the Columbine shootings, they what what happened? They pulled him off TV for a few months until it kind of cooled off because he wore a trench coat and he kind of had like the gothic vibes, you know. And you remember that everyone thought that those shooters were like gothic. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that, but yeah. I do remember Alex. It was Alex's idea for Berlin. That's but what idea. was what was he supposed to be? Do you remember? Well, he was yeah, it was like a German heel, like but he was losing his hair. Remember? Yeah, and then so he, he had to the shave mohawk. his head. So, so now he they, they had the mohawk. He wanted to change his, yeah. you know. And it was actually of, a cool look. It was a cool look. You know what? Yeah. I remember he had to get the translator chick, the hot translator chick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he had Alex would like speak German, and she would translate. I, I thought that was a good gimmick, you know. And then he yes. had the wall um, You know what else? Next, you know what else hurt him big time though? Is that when he when he did come back <laughs> after that? And this is just what I remember as a fan: is he was supposed to wrestle Buff, and it was it was going to be his first big pay per view match, and I guess Buff didn't want to put him over, so Buff didn't wrestle so they replaced him with jim duggan and duggan didn't sell a thing for this guy's debut match as berlin right just made him look really weak and and i, I don't think he ever recovered from it 